Natalie, we we're trying to take time every day to talk to experts and to answer questions about this pandemic and about this virus. NBC News science contributor Dr. Joseph Fair joining us live this afternoon. Uh, doctor, thanks again for coming in and joining us. I want to first start uh, talking about testing. The FDA has approved and now we could have this new coronavirus antibody test possibly within a week. What can you tell us about this and what does it tell doctors and scientists about the virus? So this will tell you, this is as opposed to the, the throat and nasal swab, this will tell you if you have had the virus, not if you acutely have it. And so it'll tell you if you've had uh, COVID-19 and at what stage you are in the recovery process for it. So there's what we call an IgM antibody, which are antibodies produced immediately after you're infected. And then about four to six weeks after that, you develop more protective antibodies that we call IgG antibodies. And it's really dependent on that level of IgG antibody that we know that you're going to be more immune to this than, say, someone with a lower level of those IgG antibodies. We're particularly interested in these people and this test in particular just because the, the thought of using protective antibodies from someone that's recovered is particularly attractive and is fast-tracked by the FDA to be used in the fight against COVID-19. That's right. We've been hearing a lot about this. We're also hearing about people who want to get back to work and some people who are still recovering. Without a vaccine, uh, this new test, could this be something to help people return to the office or to the work? side with a, a reasonable degree of confidence? Yeah, I think, you know, if you develop those IgG antibodies that I talked about and you've completely cleared the infection, meaning that, you know, you've tested negative three times um, by the acute nasal swab and throat swab that we mentioned earlier, and you've developed those IgG antibodies, I think there could almost be an immunity card kind of system where, you know, we, we know at least from laboratory studies that are highly indicative that you'll be immune for some period of time. However, we have no idea how long that period of time will be right now. Only time will tell. All right, so touching on that immunity, I know this because people have been asking me the question, if I get the coronavirus and recover from it, will I be at risk for catching it again? What are you hearing about this? Well, the only thing I'm really basing my opinion on, and, you know, there's the anecdotal evidence, obviously. There's a lot of history for other viruses that we get. You know, we do develop some immunity to it if it doesn't kill us. Uh, but this is through a laboratory study out of China where they did uh, infect rhesus macaques, which are the monkey model for humans. Hmm. Uh, in, in the world of animal research, it's the thing before humans. It's b before you would go into a human, you go into a rhesus macaque. So these macaques were infected and they recovered and then they could not be reinfected again with COVID-19 or the virus that causes it. So that being said, you know, if we extrapolate from that data, which often we do from those monkey models, that humans are going to be in the same category that probably they can't be reinfected with the same strain, at least for some period of time. What's key there and, you know, key to explain is we have no idea how long that period of time will be mm -hmm. or, you know, if everyone's going to be immune to it or if it's just, you know, certain individuals that develop stronger immune responses and other people that, you know, developed weaker ones. Okay, day by day we're learning more information and new inside. Dr. Fair, thank you so much for giving us some of the answers to the questions and we'll have more coming up on NBC Nightly News now.